What's up, what's up, what's up, cuties? Thank you guys for joining me for another video. I just wanted to come to you guys with the official statement about Martel Holt's arrest. Now, we do know that his publicist made a comment yesterday on the Shade Room. I'll read that as well a little bit later. Um, I was holding on to it because I was confused. It just wasn't professional enough for me. But let me go ahead and put up this copyright disclaimer. Um, I will be reporting this news. Uh, I did do some research and fair use is permitted by the copyright statute, uh, copyright act as well, 1976. So we do know yesterday that TMZ reported on Martel Holt being arrested and there is an update to their story. So let me go ahead and read it for you guys. And this is Martel Holt's publicist, Jonelle Witt. And she told TMZ, we would like to issue an official statement regarding the recent allegations against Martel Holt concerning harassment text messages to his accuser dating back to August 2022. It is with great concern that we address these accusations. Martel Holt adamantly denies any intentional harm or harassment towards the accuser. We believe that these allegations are the result of a misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. And we are confident that the legal process will ultimately vindicate Mr. Holt. Martel remains committed to being a devoted father and maintaining a positive and healthy co-parenting relationship with Ms. Rogers and Ms. Curry for the well-being of their children. Despite the challenges presented, Martel will continue to focus on his role as a responsible parent and contribute positively to his community. We urge the public and media to approach this matter with fairness and sensitivity, considering the impact such allegations can have on individuals and their families. We are confident that as the legal proceedings unfold, the truth will emerge and Martel Holt will be exonerated. We appreciate your understanding and respect for Martel's privacy during this challenging time. Now, unfortunately, and this is just my opinion, uh, there is too much audio and video of Martel admitting to the accusations. So we now know that these date back to August 2022 the video that I played earlier, uh, you know, the you going to jail. That was July, late July. And yeah, it's unfortunate not only to the individuals and their families, because Mr. Martel Holt is the one that caused all of this. Now, let's think back to Martel's interview with Queen Sheba. I know you guys remember it because I do. And in that interview, Martel admitted to sending mail messages basically about the unflattering position that she was in. He sent her a screenshot of that and he said and admitted that he wanted her to leave him alone. And that's why he did it. Now, what Martel wanted Mel to leave him alone about was her responding to him. We remember it like it was yesterday. And again, this dates back to August. Let's not forget the trip to Destin, Florida. 
that was either late June or early July 2023. And we also remember what happened. What, no, sorry, that was 2022, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, we also remember what happened after that trip. And after that trip, Martel went on to Instagram and he said horrible things about Mel. And Mel responded at that time, oh, really? Revenge, P? And now I'm questioning myself because maybe it was 2023. Either way, the dates are alleged, you know, um, if you needed mail or anybody else, I made videos on it and I do have the screenshots of every message that Martel put up at that time, as well as Mel's response. So for me, uh, it's a little too late to ask for sensitivity because we did not see that for him. No matter how they want to slice and dice this, Martel was wrong and he didn't care about his kids at the time. He didn't care about their family or family members at the time. His goal was to hurt Mel. And I can't wait to see how this plays out in court because there is enough evidence, baby, to put him up under the jail. Okay? Now, I don't know if it'll go that far. We shall see. But, Martel, take a look at the woman that you got over there in your house around your kids. She's the one that came out here. And yes, sir, we got it. We got the audio. She is the one that came out here and admitted that it was you that wanted her to release that video of Mel. So you really don't have anyone to blame. Uh, the publicist, she's doing her job, I guess. But um, as I mentioned, she commented to Raymond Santana. Uh, you guys know um, him from the Central Park Five later turned to the exonerated five and she was responding to him under the shade room and i thought this was so uh, unprofessional because i have never seen a publicist that says ain't in y'all but anyway let me read it for the sake of this video uh she responded to him and she said <clears throat> martel holt is not being held without bond he is not in jail right now. Please do not entertain these people. And no, he ain't never put his hands on no woman. Notice it says communication, but that's all I'm going to say until we are prepared to give y'all a statement. And I just want to clarify for her. Notice that it says harassing communication. Don't skip over everything in the charge, Miss Publicist. Domestic violence, third, harassing communication. So what she said in that comment on the shade room, she failed to hold Martel accountable and say exactly what he was charged with. No, it does not only say communications. So I get the part of her saying that he ain't never, ain't never put his hands on a woman. But again, those charges were clear. Domestic violence third, harassing communications. So that's what it was. And I think that that's what she should have said. Um, you know, we talk about this all the time. I talked about it earlier today, and it is women not holding him accountable as they should. And I think that she could have held him accountable in that comment on the shade room and said exactly what it was. But TMZ went ahead and released that update 
So we now know for sure, for sure, for sure, that Melody Cherie is the accuser allegedly. And this dates back to August 2022. Why am I questioning myself? They got the date in here. So that Destin trip was in July 2022. And that is when Mr. Man sent Mel that screenshot of her in a compromising position. And she called him out then. Oh, really? Revenge P? So there's no way around this. Um, once there is a court date and all of that, um, you know, his his uh, publicist is saying that they really do believe that they're going to fight this. But yeah, it's too late, ma'am. Unfortunately, your client, Martel Holt, admitted to it. And the other mother of his son, Ariane Curry, has done the most damage to him. Because audio, audio is there, okay? It's here. I got it. Uh, it was originally posted on Original Straight with No Chaser. And there's no way around that. She also admitted. And this is why I think she is next. I'm hoping that there is a warrant out for Ariane Curry. And I hope that they pick her earth up too. You guys know we will be all on that site to try to find out. But, yeah, she needs to go ahead and be charged as well because she admitted that she would have released it and it shouldn't even be in her damn possession. How yucky is that? You actually got a video of Martel and his then wife and you're showing it around the folks and you're looking at it. That's creepy. But as I mentioned, she mentioned that she would have released it if it was not Martel in that case. So I just want to say this. Shout out to Mel for following through. Shout out to Mel for following through on this. And I'm sure it was hard. Uh, you know, they do have kids together. And I know that she thinks about them in every decision that she makes but right is right wrong is wrong legal is legal and illegal is illegal and until you take a stand and make a move like this i think that martel would have continued on with the harassment so uh miss publicist tell your boy you know, we haven't seen him doing too much as far as positivity in the community. You know, it sounds good, but we follow everything love in Maritonsville. We haven't seen anything. But it would be my suggestion if I was his publicist, go sign your ass to into some therapy ASAP. ASAP. That's what needs to be done. Let that man get the mental help that he needs so he can do and not just say, um, and that is try to be a better man for his children. So as I mentioned, guys, I just wanted you guys to come and see this video. We are still on watch. We will get back on track uh, pretty soon when it comes to the other content. But as I mentioned, I wanted to bring you guys the latest news, the official statement. Shout out to TMZ. If you guys want to read it yourself, make sure to go ahead over to TMZ.com and you will be able to read it in its entirety. But that is the update. I thank you guys for joining me for this video. You guys know I will be coming back. Make sure to continue to comment drop down and comment, like the video, hit that notification bell, and subscribe. And I will chat with you guys soon. Bye. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. Thank you.
Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. Chit chat, chit chat, chit chat with QT. 